Vehicle Sensing Solutions. Sensing technology developed for the recognition of motorized vehicles to improve the automation, safety, and classification of vehicular traffic. LZR Family, LZR I30. Max pattern size is 30 by 30 feet. LZR S600, the max pattern size 82 by 82 feet. The LZR H100, which is the focus of this webinar presentation, max pattern size 32 by 32 feet. LZR H100 features laser scanner for gate and barrier applications. Laser scanning virtual loop without cutting into the ground. Ability to detect or ignore pedestrian traffic. Two relay outputs, one for motion and one for presence. The technology is laser scanner time of flight measurement. Supply voltage, 10 to 35 volts DC at 1.8 amps peak current, and that would be at startup. Operating temperature, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Pattern size, as stated on the previous slide, 32 by 32 feet. Output, there are two relays, motion and presence. The enclosure rating, NEMA 4 or IP65. LZR H100, time of flight virtual loop. Here we've got three pictures from left to right showing a large detection field. We already know the maximum detection field is 32 by 32 feet. What's showing here is the safety or presence area. Looks more like a rectangular shape. The middle picture showing both the motion and presence area. It has the ability to activate only for large objects or vehicles, but hold open for pedestrians for the presence detection area in the red. Third picture on the right showing both detection fields, the motion and the presence. Each one is associated with a relay. Therefore, two relays allow for independent detection by motion or presence. Both detection fields, motion and presence, are independently sized. You can have different sizes for each. And regarding the object size filtering, can activate gates for vehicles only and then hold open for pedestrians. And that could be based on the width of the object. Regarding the outputs, the outputs of the sensor could be used to trigger other devices such as card readers, ticket dispensers, etc. LZR H100 Time of Flight Virtual Loop. Three pictures again. Cross traffic rejection on the left showing the ability to ignore cross traffic, allowing for flexibility when defining the detection zones. You can extend the pattern where the loop could be installed also. The middle picture, trajectory detection. The sensor has the ability to detect vehicle trajectory during the approach. There's several different adjustments within the user's manual to set the trajectory within the detection field. It's ideal for curved road or driveways where we're not bending light around the curves. The third picture on the right, ease of installation. You could do a teach-in via a walk path or the handheld remote control configuration. Thus, there's no need to cut out or cut into the ground. LZR H100 applications, slide and swing gates, barrier arms, toll gates, parking facilities. 
a non-contact solution for pedestrians and vehicles, ideal in areas where cutting a loop is prohibitive, large gates and barriers. Note the LZRH100 is not currently listed as a UL325 entrapment protection device. And the H100 is not intended for use on automatic doors. Some of the applications showing on the pictures on the right, it could be a replacement for vehicle loop detectors, all types of gates and barriers, but not intended for use for automatic doors. It's a non-contact solution for pedestrian and vehicles, but again, not listed as of yet as a UL325 entrapment protection device. It's ideal in areas where cutting a loop is prohibitive, such as paving stones or paver blocks, bad asphalt or concrete, gravel lots, underground pipes, railroad tracks. And it can be used large barriers, which we know the pattern size 32 by 32 feet, which can't be achieved with the loop. Here's a field application picture of an installation where the installer installed two bollard posts, installing the H100 at the lower part as we see in the cutout area. Looks like it's most likely for two-way traffic to detect vehicles coming both directions. Here's some additional pictures of Another field installation of the H100 used for a barrier arm. It's mounted on the lower part of the operator shroud, very close as we can see to a direct vertical line downward from the barrier arm. Here's some additional field installation pics of the H100, similar to the previous slide. But what's somewhat unique and it's kind of hard to see in these pictures, the slope of the ground where the sensor is mounted is sloping down or up depending which direction. And then it hits the bottom of the ramp area and smooths out uh, going into a parking garage. So it's a unique installation which the sensor had no difficulties configuring and set up for the installation. This would be for one-way exiting of the parking garage. And then on the other side, not shown, is another one used to enter the parking garage. Another picture of some field installations. Barrier arm for employee parking. Showing the installation of the H100 just below the barrier arm right in line with the bottom of the barrier arm and that will be used for free exit to exit the employee parking lot. LZR H100 installation. On the left, wiring and adjustment, red and black are your power wires. Red is plus, black is minus, and if you recall, DC voltage only, no AC voltage allowed. The outputs, the opening field, relay one is white and green. Relay two, the safety or presence detection field, white and black, green and white. And then test or monitoring are the blue wires. And they are not polarity sensitive. However, we recommend red or positive to the blue, black or negative to the blue with the white tracer. And the orange wires are not used. In the middle, remote control adjustments. There are several here showing the picture of what the is representative on the handheld remote control. Top to bottom, the mounting side orientation, left or right, you'll have to select that in the field. The safety field dimensions, the width and the depth, by the C and D button, and then the A and B button are the motion field width and depth as well. And both the safety slash presence field and motion fields are adjustable with the remote control by the inch.
Next, detection trajectory. It detects direction of the motion needed to trigger the motion field relay. Detection delay. It's the time of detection needed before the motion field relay changes state. Pedestrian filter. Adjust the minimum object size required for detection in the motion field. Output configuration changes the output normally open to normally closed. Immunity filter. There are two immunity filters for environmental disturbances. On the right side, tips and troubleshooting. Mount the sensor on the same side as the control box. Make sure the two blue wires are connected to the two power wires. If you do not connect the test or monitoring wires to power in the event you're not using them, the sensor will be locked out and inoperable. Use the LBA bracket for easy mounting. The handheld remote control will be locked out 30 minutes after power up, so you'll be unable to make further adjustments after 30 minutes of inactivity unless you power cycle the sensor and that will give you another opportunity to use the handheld. Use the magic wand to learn or walk the detection field. Magic wand one does the safety field. Magic wand two does the opening field. LZR H100 installation. For proper orientation, you want to ensure that you use the mounting template. That mounting template is supplied in the box with the sensor. And then on the right, you can use the visible LEDs to orient the detection field and aim it where you need it specifically. Once the sensor is mounted, you can then activate the visible LEDs using the handheld remote control unlock. Magic wand, magic wand will turn the three visible spots on. And just note that you don't want to be looking into the sensor or into those lights. The visible beams should have a clear line of sight throughout the detection field, meaning if the visible light beams are obstructed, then so will the detection field. So therefore, you want to ensure that they have a clear line. Continuing with the LZR-H100 installation, utilizing the visible LEDs to ensure they are emitted during the setup and then turn on off by the handheld remote control, unlock, magic wand, magic wand. That will turn them on and turn them off. You use those LEDs to make the final adjustments to the orientation. In the example in the picture there, the installer made rotate the sensor left or right to orient it properly. The zero degree beam should be aimed at the reference point during the installation. For example, the pictures on the right show a correct orientation and an incorrect orientation. And just as a reminder, the visible beam should have a clear line of sight throughout the detection fields. Continuing with the LZR-H100 installation, regarding the reference point, BEA recommends using a reference point when configuring the mounting side. The reference point can be any static object, a tree, a wall, a post, a barrier arm, or some type of support. This ensures redundant detection of the sensor. If the sensor loses detection of the reference point, it will hold the presence of the relay for the safety field. As you see on the lower right of the pictures, the reference is going to be this bollard post, and there is a supplied reflective sticker that's sent with the sensor to be used for the reference to ensure the reflectivity meets the minimum requirements. The bottom of the screen is a six inch bollard post utilizing the reflective sticker. When the distance is between the sensor and the reference is more than 16 and a half feet. By doing this, this will ensure maintaining the redundant safety measure to ensure the safe operation of the sensor, and to ensure the fail safe operation of the sensor. 
Contact information for customer service, 800-523-2462 or email orders-us at beasensors.com. For technical support, 800-523-2462 or email info-us at beasensors.com. The following slide will show additional contact information specific to your state and or province.